99% of the golfing population is scared of this move. Today, we're gonna talk about why you shouldn't be scared and how it can actually help you hit it further. Now, the move we're talking about, and I know a lot of you at home will not like hearing this, is actually getting the trail arm behind the torso at the top of the swing. So even though a lot of you think this is a bad thing, this is a move that we see a lot of the bombers have in their swing. Kyle Berkshire, Jamie Sedlowski, John Daly. So as they're getting to the top, what we're seeing is we're seeing that trail arm load back. That trail shoulder is moving into abduction. And what that's doing is setting them up to create a big stretch through the transition. Breaking this down, starting with shoulder abduction. Shoulder abduction is when the arm moves away from midline, okay? As we get to the top of the swing, if the arm gets back behind us a little bit and we start to change directions, what happens is we create a big stretch from the left hip all the way up to the right shoulder, okay? So if we load our body correctly, it's gonna set us up to fire much faster and much more efficiently later in the swing. Now, there's two caveats to this, okay? The first one, in order to get the arm behind you and being okay with it, is one, your swing has to be long enough, okay? So all of these players all have longer backswings, okay? This probably isn't something that would work for a John Rahm who has a shorter swing to where everything's staying much more in front of them, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is we wanna make sure that in the backswing, our hands stay more in front of the chest going back, which will allow us room to then change direction and actually allow that trail shoulder to get behind us. If you suck your hands in too early in the backswing, what will happen is you'll create that stretch too early and it will cause a misfiring through the transition that you purely won't be able to recover from later in your swing. Now, two benefits of having this move present in your swing is one, being able to drop the club in the slot. So as we work to the top of the swing, if that trail arm starts to work behind us, we'll start to see the hand path work from more in front of our body, back and in and down, okay, to where now our hands are not coming over the top. Okay, so it's gonna help us with our hand path in the downswing. And then the second benefit is as we get to the top, we're gonna start to see the pitch of the shaft be a little bit more across the line, okay? Being across the line is not a bad thing if the swing is long enough. And in fact, that club should actually be slightly across, okay? Once, once we kind of get to parallel and that club's perfectly down the line, if we go past that point, we should start to see that club move across, okay? We want to make sure that we get the pitch of the shaft correct, which will one, help us create more speed, but two, will allow that club to shallow nicely in the downswing. Now, one of the ways we love to implement this into your swing over on hipbombs.com is by very simply doing one arm drills, okay? So a lot of cases, I love using my stack system. I'll play with different weights depending on what, what I'm trying to achieve. Because we're swinging something with our trail arm, I would be careful not to go too heavy too quickly. We don't want anyone to create any shoulder issues, but grab your club and you could do different variations of swings to where you're either going through, okay, or you're going to the top, kind of sinking, feeling that stretch, then going through. I have to be honest, this is something that I've been struggling with in my swing and been implementing trail arm swings for the last two months and it is making a huge difference. Feels much better from a sequencing standpoint. And the cool thing about this drill is all I gotta do is do the reps. It's something that transfers to the swing very easily. So trail arm drills have been really helpful for me. I think they can help you at home. And hopefully this video has clarified some of the fear around that dreaded trail shoulder move. And at least now you have some parameters on what you need to do if that move is in your swing.